Hey, thank you for coming out to uh, the last week of LifePoint and or to uh, Better Together uh, groups. And uh, we're so glad that you're here and you've been a part of these groups for the last several weeks. And I know that a lot has happened last week and maybe you group didn't meet, some groups did. But uh, we just want to wrap this thing up. And we had a great, a powerful, powerful Sunday here, Vive, uh, with water baptisms. What an exciting time. But I just wanted to wrap all this thing together, this whole message. We've been going through the the story of the prodigal son, the, the lost son in, in Luke chapter 15 and how there are different awakenings, different things that happen, stirrings that are in our heart. And, and we've gone through that awakening of longing, that awakening of regret, uh, that awakening of help. And then we talked this morning about the awakening of love and, and understanding our identity. And it's so important for us to grasp this. If, if you were in the service or maybe you weren't able to make it, let me just say this again. Our identity is not determined by uh, how we feel. It's not determined by our appearance. It's not determined even by our position, uh, what we can do. It, our identity is not determined by those things because if those things change, then we're in an identity crisis and we don't know who we are. Our identity comes and, and is determined, our identity is determined by the love of God, that God loves us. You and I are deeply loved children of the Father. He chooses to love us, and because of that, He places value on us. And it's not a cheap value. I mean, He places extreme value on us, enough so that He was willing to send His Son to the cross so that we could have life. So He values us highly. It's His love for us that determines our identity. And our identity determines our destiny. See, if your identity is wrapped up in any other thing, then when that thing's gone, then who are you? And that's the problem, is that we have to we have, to have that awakening to love because, you know, the, the prodigal, when he came back home and he stood on the edge of the city and his father embraced him and kissed him, he said, I'm not worthy to be called your son. He had an identity crisis. He didn't know who he was. But the father, real quickly, uh, restored his identity, put a robe on him, put a ring on his finger, put sandals on his feet. And the same thing happens to us. God restores our identity, who we are. He loves us deeply, and that is who, who we are. We are sons and daughters of God. We are de deeply, deeply loved by him. I want to encourage you in that today. And your, your host has a, a bunch of questions, and just take some time and go through those questions and, and have a great time together. But know that you're deeply loved and that's where your identity comes from. It's in Christ. Amen. God bless you. Have a great week.